Speaking of, let's just go ahead and do it then. Hey, bud. Hello. Hey, all right. Uh, we're here. And we're uh, we're not drinking beers. I wasn't going to say the other thing. Welcome, everyone. Fit all, no. Football shit talking live. Uh, it is a Sunday night, my dudes. It's uh, January 8th. We're here live every Sunday night. 11 Central, 12 Eastern. We're a little late. Suck here had uh, had big video game things to do. And that's fine. We love that. Those are important. Uh, every Sunday night, midnight Eastern, Twitch TV. Uh, yeah, but you know what else is important? The beefiest boys. What the fuck is our URL? Beefiest, the beefiest boys? The beefiest boys. The beefiest boys. Man, I forgot the ad rate. What is it? What? What were you going to say? Uh, football. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. It was. Uh, I, I have sad. We have two pieces of sad news. One is a little bit sadder than the other. So let's start off with the jokingly sad. Uh, and then we'll get into the real sad. And then we'll, we'll, we'll pull them back up with a funny. Uh, so first, I said four bowl games this week. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I think was, football has a one game left, man. I think there was a. I think there was a playoff game in FCS today, but I didn't watch it because, well, there was. FCS. I believe uh, South Dakota State won the well, uh, FCS Natty. Well, good. For, hey, good for them. I guess. Um, the sad news. Also, sorry. This is three pieces of sad news. And sorry for sorry, y'all had to tune into that. Uh, three pieces of sad news. I was busy Monday. I didn't watch a single bowl. So that's going to be a real short fucking conversation. Um, but then of course, we're, let's go ahead and address it. Scary scene on Monday Night Football. Uh, game canceled. I've never seen a game canceled, by the way. Same. That, that's how you know, like, that's how you know how dire it was. Uh, Everyone the young, was shook and it was for the best. The so. young man's name, Damar Hamlin. Hamlin for the Bills. Uh, 100, 100% was it the hit to the chest? Yeah, it was the hit to the chest. Yeah, very, very, very scary scene. Uh, I was downstairs doing something else when it happened. And then I come back upstairs and I see you saying, it's like, a guy died on the field. And I was like, because you, you know, we, we tend I, to like, do... I was like joking about it at yeah. first because I realized just how serious it was. At the well, time. and we all do. We kind of like, we, were, we always speak in superlatives anyway. And right. I was like, oh, man, okay, wow, okay. Then I see, like, an ambulance on the field, and Joe Buck isn't talking. And I'm like, oh, you, oh, okay, you mean someone actually died. And it was, it was terrifying. Because he's, I mean, he's a young man. Uh, the good news is, though, he's, he's fine, more or less. I mean, relative. Uh, it's looking good. He's up. He's awake. Uh, he watched tonight's game. Watched their victory over the Patriots. Uh, yeah, so don't, don't know his future in ball, but he is alive and as as someone with a alive. modicum of medical knowledge, he's not playing football again. It would be it would be absolutely I, I just, nothing short of a miracle. The mental shock. Just the men, the long. mental shock. But then I mean, once you have some sort of cardiac event it's right. the heart is the heart is a very healthy muscle like every other muscle in your body it heals but once you have one and i mean for him for given the because he had to be resuscitated several times he went in and out a, a couple of times yeah. um and i mean he beat the odds just on that so maybe don't roll the dice again you know like maybe yeah. just yeah, yeah i mean you know we gotta thank a few people. We gotta thank the staff that were immediately giving them CPR and stuff. Mm -hmm. We gotta thank our Lord above. I wanted to mention that actually because uh, the quarterback got very choked up during. Remind me his name, sorry. Uh, Josh Allen or Josh Joker? Allen? Josh Allen, yeah. Josh okay. Allen, no, today got real choked up talking about it because, of course, we'll get into it here in a second, but the game began with a uh, kickoff return. And the, <laughs> the kickoff return was three years and three months since their last one. Hamlin's number, of wow. course, being number three. So that's, listen, that's man, it, if that, yeah, if that don't, uh, if that don't convince you of something, I don't, I don't really know what will. So yeah, we're, we're very happy to hear he's all right. Um, very scary. Reminds you though. Hey, every day's a blessing. Count them while you got them. Make them count. Sure so. is, man. All right. Well, let's stop fucking around. 
Oh, uh, and then the funny. Sorry. Sorry. We're all down. Let's bring you up. Fucking Jamal Williams tonight on Sunday Night Football. So, of course, Sunday Night Football, you know, let's meet the defense. Let's meet the offense. Everyone says your name. Everyone says your, your football, your uh, college or, you know, high school or some even say elementary school. Jamal Williams comes up on here. Swear to God. Wearing a Naruto headband. Fucking says he's from the Hidden Leaf Village. Oh, I think we gotta, he said he was the Hokage. The yeah. <laughs> we got to do something about these weaves, ladies and gentlemen. We got to, I mean, a complete and total shutdown of weaves until we can figure out what the hell is going on. Man, I just, I, the look on his face, he's like, I, this is, he, he just knows this is going to be the funniest fucking thing ever. So, uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Dog of the week? No. My dog of the week is Hamlin. All right. But my co dog of the week. Is Jamal Williams for the, pulling that shit right there? So hey, man, when, when you got the it. most rushing touchdowns in the league, I yeah, I mean, what you want? You can act a little fucking goofy if you want some. Anyway, all right, so yeah, Monday, a couple of bowl games, Penn State and Utah. You know, we talked about it all season. Utah had its ups, had its downs, and boy, did it have another down. They couldn't get shit going, and the Sean Clifford, yeah, he was really the only shining spot of this, but. Utah, whatever. I will say I admitted to being wrong. I had a terrible take at the beginning of the year. I said something along the lines of like, I think James Franklin's going to have a terrible year. I think he's going to try and jump ship to like a different school, maybe to the NFL or something. No, 11 win season, two, two losses against, I think, Ohio State and... Yeah, Michigan, Ohio State. He, the, only two, the only two games he lost were to playoff teams so i mean <laughs> that's not yeah. that's not a, no that's not a bad year that's not a bad year so shout out to james franklin utah get your shit together seriously just get your shit together like you lost to florida then you made it to the rose bowl somehow we'll salvage your season with the top top 10 and then you lose to penn state just get your shit together yeah but at the same time they won the one game that mattered and that was the uh pac-12 championship versus us True, true, and real, which actually sets up the next game, the Cotton Bowl Classic, number 16, Tulane. That's right, number 16, Tulane in the Cotton Bowl. Just uh, let that one ferment for a second in your um, um, Dula Amblagada. And the rest Damn, of number the 10. End of this game, bro. What? The end of this game. Dude, the end of this game. Number 10, USC. USC, this was, in, this was a Texas level embarrassment for usc all right caleb williams first off by the way caleb williams was a dog in this all right 37 for 52 462 yards five touchdowns one interception sure yeah but f dude they had this game on lock they really did until the last four minutes <laughs> now I, walk us through those last four minutes all right, well, it started off with Tulane getting a touchdown, put them down 37 to 45. And then, uh, was it right after that? Yeah, was, right after yeah. that, two plays later. Uh, so kickoff return, took it right out. He fumbled the ball. Yeah. The uh, USC returner fumbled the ball at the one. So they started at the one. And then for, first and 10 at the one, a run for no gain. Second and 10 at the one run for a loss and a safety. Yeah. So that's puts them up 39 to 45. And it's it's now on one the, position game. Yeah, now it's like 320 left in the game. Uh, Tulane goes on a 3-11-minute uh, touchdown drive to take the lead. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, that was the game. Ended yeah. there pretty much. Well, you left out the very, very shitty hook and ladder play at the very end by USC that which is, was more embarrassing than anything else, but... Listen, there were a lot of games I watched this week, so you, you gotta true. forgive me. That's true. Uh, granted, the line on this was extremely close. Like this wasn't a huge upset by any, you know, uh, stretch of the imagination. However, if you said at the beginning of the year, you, you said Tulane is going to win the Cotton Bowl against USC, that's an insane against statement. USC with Heisman winner quarterback, yeah. a Heisman winner quarterback who put up Heisman winning quarterback numbers, right? Like. The thing was, like, Tulane, yeah, okay, yeah. But they didn't win because USC wasn't playing their A game. They won against USC's A game. 
USC yep. played probably the best game they've played all year. Tulane was just that damn good. And I'm going to go ahead and say it. You love to see it because Tulane really is don't. not a big program, right? Just a small little school and tucked away in the corner of New Orleans, right? Very forgotten. They're in the, I think they're in the AAC, right? Yeah, they're in the American, you know, not, not a big school, but uh, hey, c- fucking career win for all these kids, for the coaches, for the school. You love to see it. You love to see it. But, uh, well, you also love to see it because fuck USC. So, real. Oh, I'm not even going to fucking grace this one with any. With, I'm not even going to talk about this one. LSU fucking curb stomped Purdue. That last that last touchdown, I'm pretty sure, was just garbage time for Purdue. So this uh, this honestly was a shutout. So. Yeah, you know it's bad when in your bowl game your team says, "All right, let's have four different quarterbacks play because we do not need our starters." Yeah, I mean if this is just one. that's like, "Hey, who wants to play in a bowl game?" So, I think I think at some point they were looking at the Water Boys and being like, "Can we play you?" No. Yeah. Uh, Mississippi State, Illinois, in the Relia Quest Bowl, aka the fucking snoozer of the day, uh, nineteen to ten, sounding like a. I don't even know what that I would call that softball game. Yeah, this game sucked. I didn't watch it. Uh, State won. Oh, That's all that matters. Bro, whoa. Now you're talking the hook and lateral in the uh, USC game. The hook and lateral at the end of this game. Was oh, something. really? Oh, yeah. It like they almost got it. Oh, I'm watching it right now. Yeah. Oh, wow. And they then, got down into like nearly the red zone. That looked like a lateral. That looked like a forward yeah, pass, to be quite honest. Oh, and did, then he gets but, it. Oh, is he going to go yeah. all the way? Oh yes, it's going to go all the way. <laughs> so it was a thirteen to ten game, right? But yeah. the fucked up hook and ladder to a scoop and score for State. Man, what a what a it, hey! That one's for Mike. That one's for Mike right yeah, there. I mean, this was the first game after losing Coach Leach, and oh, then it got into a little bit of a fight. Hell yeah! Oh, yeah. That and one, like that, that was that, for that Coach definitely Leach. was a forward pass and not a lateral. But the rest, yeah. like you know what, Whatever. this doesn't matter. We'll let yeah. them keep the point. Yeah, it's, it's sometimes like that's what I like, you know, like I, you know, we do want refs to call things a little bit more fairly sometimes. But when you watch something like that, it's like, OK, this doesn't matter. And it's funny. Just let it play out, you know. So, yep. uh, yeah, some cucks that are like betting were probably. Oh, mad, yeah. Well, that's, that's like a sin. So, so yeah. Uh, yeah, because it actually fucked up the, the line. So, yeah. <laughs> um, well, it kept it. It, it kept it. It's either way, it would have been under, but the line, yeah, it fucked up the line. So there was, yeah, there was some betting cock who was just fuming about it, but whatever. Uh, and that was it. That was all the bowl games. So let the postseason depression begin. We, of course, have one more game tomorrow, which we will me? be here for. We will be here for. Let's see. It starts at 6 30 p.m. I'm assuming that's central. It is. It's 7 30 Eastern. Yeah, we will be here live for that. Number one, Georgia versus number one, three, TCU. Uh, I really yeah, want to. Yeah, I really want uh, Georgia to lose because for some strength, for some fucking reason, they're just hyping Stetson Bennett up on the radio in South Mississippi. Uh, I mean, it's because he went to a college around here very briefly, but uh, I just don't ever want to hear about Stetson Bennett ever again, honestly. So, um, yeah, we will be live for that here on this channel here at this time. So if you're watching live right now, be sure to make it. If you're watching the podcast tomorrow morning, you know, tune in. Uh, looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be a. I think it's gonna be a good game, regardless. But um, uh, shout yeah. out, shout out to the big movement that's that's kind of formed around this game to get them to allow tailgating. Uh, oh yeah. I think I don't know if that's spearheaded, but I know a uh, three-year Letterman coach, of course, was uh, really getting. In fact, he got fucking Ted Cruz to respond to him to uh start up a bill to allow tailgating of these these well, I mean, that's so stupid like i understand they explained why but it I, it's still stupid right it's still yeah, it's, it's still dumb reason. california not allowing it to do well it's not california apparently it's the college football committee that's not allowing oh, it oh is it really that's, yeah let's fucking take them back they and when they explained it it was like they said they didn't allow it last year they didn't allow it in 20 and i was like oh it's a you know what thing and then they go no they didn't allow it in 19 either because they have like their own curated like tailgate experience thing, but it's like lame and stupid. Yeah. And when people literally just want to show up with grills and get hammered, which I mean, you know, let's let it happen, right? That's you know, that's that's football. So for real. 
That is quite literally the spirit of football. It literally is, and that's what makes college great. So I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully you get some with that. But yeah, let's. Uh, we'll be we'll be here for that tomorrow. It's gonna be fun. Let's get into NFL. Uh, final week of the season. Um, we'll start. We'll 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 talk about the with the Monday game. Uh, briefly, of course, because it was canceled. But um. Well, I guess we don't really even need to talk about that much. It was canceled. There's not much to say. Uh, it yeah, was a- let, me, uh, let me run through some news first. If you don't oh, okay. Mind. You got a little bit of news. Go ahead. Pop off. Yeah. I uh, made a news channel on the news server. Oh, nice. Look at any of that. So, yeah. obviously, the Bills Bengals no contest happened, which right. led to the NFL discussing how they were going to handle the playoffs since both of those teams were you know, in contention for the number one seed. Right. So what they decided on is basically if Bills Chiefs meet in the AFC Championship, it'll be played at a neutral site. It won't be a home game for either of them because either if Bills had won that game and what happened this week happened, then Bills would have been the number one seed because that game got canceled. They kind of got cut. So they're going to make it a neutral site if they play each other in the championship game. And then the other potential scenario was what the Bengals players were really mad about for this one, which is valid, is... uh, Basically, they after they declared the game a no contest, they declared the Bengals the winners of the AFC North, which should mean they host a home game no matter what. Right. But basically, they said if by any chance you lose to Baltimore this week, then it'll be a coin flip to determine who gets to host the home game, despite you being the declared champion. That's dumb. Which, uh, it is dumb. It forced the Bengals to play their starters this week. And they did lose an O lineman because of it. So, uh, <laughs> that's a, that sounds like some typical really NFL, off. yeah. That sounds like some typical NFL shit. It does. Uh, so Broncos obviously have their head coaching opening. They are officially interviewing Sean Payton for their head coaching position. Uh, that'd be a great pickup for him. It would, of course. That does require them to trade and give some compensation to the Saints if that does go forward. Hey, th- hey, I'm all for it. Then let's fucking go. And although I do believe Sean Payton did say in an interview like there was a seven in ten chance he stays with fox and doesn't go back to head coaching but yeah. i mean broncos got that walmart money so we'll see what happens yeah but you know that that behind the desk money is good and the stress is. is a lot less so there's basically none in comparison yeah so i mean you know but i mean you got a chance to go you know you got as much as as much shit as we've given to uh russell wilson this year to be fair he did look better after the firing the head coach he did start he did. looking better so he actually looked pretty decent today too yeah um so i mean you you could go in there and honestly make a pretty decent run so i mean if you wanted maybe if you wanted just one more ring right hey why not why not it's not a terrible team no. to go to in terms no. of roster. So, uh, I, I support that, but mainly because, you know. You want stuff for the Saints? Hell yeah. Uh, and then Commanders announced they have a mascot now, which I guess they didn't <laughs> have a mascot previously. <laughs> what? If you want to put this on the screen. I screen, already but... did. Major Tutty. Major Tutty, it's a pig. It is a pig. Uh, Why? I believe the, the pig is a throwback to their, like, I think back in the old days they had like a hog defense or offensive line or some shit, and that's like what it's a throwback to. That's stupid. I don't know, dude. It's it's the commander's organization. Man, so they're just like, talk about an organization that just takes L after L after L. <sighs> and then speaking of uh, you know, behind the desk money, Sean McVay did say his future is up in the air. He might not come back. Because, I mean, the Rams situation is pretty fucked. They have no picks to speak of. Yeah. Their team kind of sucks right now. Man, so. talk about, like, a burnout. Because all we've heard about for, like, the past couple of years is, like, what a prodigy. Sean McVay is young as head coach ever, young as Super Bowl winner ever. And then he goes from that to, what is their fun? What was it, 5 and 11? Something like that. Yeah, 5 and 12. 5 and 12. Oh, well, yeah. After today. 5 and 12, yeah. So. Yeah, pretty bad. Uh, I think a lot of it is just they had their offense was not very good and pretty easy to figure out, and their super strong defense started to not be super strong that was carrying him for so long. So that is what it is. Uh, this kind of gets ahead of the game, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip this one until we get the sure. Uh, 
Levy Smith, the Texan head coach. Isn't it Levy Smith? Fired. It's some shit like that. Who cares? <laughs> okay, all right, sure. He's a shitty head coach who got fired. That's yeah, yes. And uh, of course, the classic reasoning here is that everyone likes to quote say is so because the Texans won today, and the Bears lost, the Texans are now number two overall pick, and the Bears are number one. Levy Smith was a former Bears yeah. legend. So, you know, some think that might be related. Oh, yeah. I forgot he coached at the uh, Illinois. Man, so... How do I say that? How do I say this while, like, navigating this minefield? I'm not. Never mind. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, so it's... uh, What's that? The third head coach fired already? Uh, Uh, Yeah. Panthers, Broncos, and him. That's all I can think of right now. Yeah, we'll we'll probably have some maybe tomorrow. Probably and then some related week. to the head coaching, and then college related is, uh, I guess there's some Jim Harbaugh scandal. Oh no! Related to uh, he's being investigated by the NCAA because back during COVID, he had two kids that he brought in for uh, some recruits he brought in for a visit, and he took them to the Brown Jug for a Jug Burger in the morning. So he's being investigated because he bought two kids burgers. The NCAA, the NCAA literally has nothing better to do. And I have to say, like, the NCAA doesn't run the college football playoff, right? That's no. like its own thing. Yeah. So what do they even do for nothing. college football? Nothing. In it's... fact, in fact, I don't know if you saw it, but on the last game day on a New Year's, uh, New Year's Eve, I guess, um, I mean, the game day guys were just br- like br- brazenly discussing that. They were like, Let's just get rid of the NCAA. They're pointless. Like, they're, yeah, they mean, do nothing. It's, I mean, like, Jim Harbaugh might end up going to the NFL because he bought two recruits burgers during COVID. That would be that so is, stupid. That is a scenario we are in right now. Well, I mean, I've talked about it all the time, how much I hate the NCAA. Because, yeah, they're always, they have, like, the dumbest. So, Alabama has gotten two knocks specifically, and it, they're both the dumbest shit possible. So, the first one was, um, I think it was, like, in the first, Saban's first year, 2008. Um, students used their tuition money that they got, their scholarship, to buy school books. That's an NCAA violation. For some reason, that's so dumb. I had to vacate a bunch of wins. Uh, a couple of years later, I want to say eleven or twelve, or maybe even thirteen. A coach, like a positional coach, he could even been like uh, like a strength coach, but not like the strength coach. He was a very low level coach. Lended uh, one of the players like fifteen hundred dollars to get his car fixed. There was a recipe, uh, not a recipe, a receipt trail documenting every step of it, bank transfers, all of it. It was all 100% above board. The NCAA comes in and says, eh, that coach got fired. The player had to be like suspended for a couple. It's just the fucking. That's that's so dumb. It's so dumb. It's just so dumb. It's the NCAA is just like the stereotypical, like bloated bureaucracy that literally only exists to keep itself afloat and keep itself relevant. So it, it's we got to do something about it. It it's so meaningless. Like yeah, they don't yeah. do they 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 oversee like lower levels championships, but a who gives a shit? B I'm pretty sure another different organization could do that. Yeah, it's bad. All right. But moving on, getting into the games for the week, starting on Saturday, we had Chiefs Raiders. Uh, I mean, Chiefs beat the Raiders. Big shocker there. Yeah. Uh, this Jared game wasn't Stidham. even remotely competitive. Jared Stidham was not Jared Stid him. So that's, that's about all there is a takeaway from that one. The Raiders walk out of the season with another L. Mm. Uh, then my boys, Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars, Tennessee Titans, Saturday Night Football playoffs and winner of AFC South in the line. Uh, this one was pretty close game until the end. And uh, it actually looked like the Titans were going to pull off the win, but about three, less than three minutes left in the game. Uh, Titans fumble, Jaguars player picks it up, scoops and scores. That was the final points of the game. So the Jaguars, 9-8, and eight, win the AFC South going to the playoffs for the first time after being the worst team in the league two years straight. 
And Trevor Lawrence is now the youngest AFC quarterback to ever go to the playoffs. Oh, I'm just saying. Me too. I think, like, let me look at the playoff teams for a second here. I think they're all, like, super young quarterbacks. God, I can't believe he's only 23. That's crazy. Yep, Mahomes, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, uh, T-Law, Justin Herbert, Lamar Jackson, and Tua. So, yeah, all really young quarterbacks. Yeah, all, all essentially under, what, 27? Something like that. I think Tua's the oldest of them, and I want to say he's, like, 26-ish. Mahomes is 27. Okay, yeah, there you go. But, yeah, it's, like, 27 or 28 is the oldest of that bunch, which, you yeah. know... Uh, the NFL really do be moving on for the oldies. It really does. And, uh, well, I mean, we'll kind of get into that here in a minute. Well, actually, in the next game, partially. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you like to see it. I mean, some of the old guys kind of starting to suck, so. Yeah. So, and then so, moving on to Sunday, Bucks falcons Now, Falcons can be happy because, I mean, you know, as happy as they can be because they finally got an asterisk win over Tom Brady, the first they've ever done in his whole 20-something year career. Why is an asterisk win? Because uh, he only played for the first half, and the Bucks ah. are winning while Brady was in. Ah. Yeah, so after the first half was over, the Bucks were up three points, and they put in Blaine Gabbert and Kyle Trask. And at that, they, they pulled like all the starters, and at that point, the Falcons were managing to score in one sure. game. So. It's a win for them. It is what it is. Didn't matter for playoffs at all. Uh, Patriots bills this game. Did matter for the playoffs. The Patriots did get eliminated. Oh wow, Mac had three interceptions. Yeah. Well, to be fair, two of them were that tip bullshit. Yeah, and, it is. And, and they they were, that was oh, that was the story the of the whole season for the Patriots. Was Mac just had no targets, man? Just none. Yep, that's pretty common. Uh, I will say though, the kickoff return touchdown to start the game. And there's also another one, same guy in the third quarter. Ha! Huh. My, my man is uh, doing the paths dirty on special teams. Well, I, that was another thing, you know, talking about the three three years, three months. Then you get another one in the third quarter. That's, listen, I'm yeah. not a big numerology guy, but that's three threes, so. Sure is. You know, do with that what you will. Yeah, but I don't think anyone saw the Bills losing this with probably mm -hmm. the energy they had in coming for their boys. So. Yeah. Uh, Vikings beat. Chicago Bears. Okay. Bears have the number one overall pick in the draft. Uh, they don't need a... I mean, they definitely need a new quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> they're not going to get one. No. So, basically, either they're going to trade down and someone who really wants Bryce is going to come up or Bryce Young will be a Texan next year. So. Mm -hmm. Terrible words. You better, you better hope someone comes up for that spot. <sighs> Which, I mean, the Colts are four, and they need a quarterback, so it's certainly possible the Colts will be drafting Bryce Young. I wouldn't I wouldn't complain about that. It's, I just don't want them to go to the Texans. Right. Uh, Colts are not very good right now, but historically they've been good, so you yeah. expect them to get it together. Yeah, I mean, they're, the they're, they're, they're a fairly good. legacy team. I mean, they're... I just Here's the thing. I just don't want him to go to, like, an expansion team, to be, to be quite honest. That's fair. Yeah. And the Texans seem like they're going to be in the dumps for quite a few years yeah. coming. I mean, yeah. they fired four head coaches in the last four years. Yeah, so. Uh, Bengals beat up the Ravens to secure their not coin flip home game. <laughs> you do love to see that. Mm -hmm. Of course, they did lose an O-lineman, which is definitely hurting. Going you don't like to see that. Now, speaking of the Texans, they beat the Colts 32-31 to today with a very good uh, down by seven. Get the touchdown. Fuck it. We're going for the two-pointer to go ahead. Do I feel like that two-pointer call might have been the coach being like, all right, we want to not get this two-pointer so we get the number one pick? <laughs> the I, like, I don't want to be replaced, so I'm going to get this shit done. Maybe, but who knows? Maybe maybe it was one of those like you know, hey, fuck it, not much to lose. Yeah, both these teams suck. I yeah. mean, it was I guess it was a decent game, it's high scoring. But, you know. mm -hmm. Speaking of not good games, yeah, I was about to say what the Jets fuck, Dolphins game. <laughs> yeah, Joe Flacco versus Skylar Thompson. Who? 
Oof. It's their like third string quarterback. I think he's like a seventh round rookie. That's not Brock Purdy. Skylar Thompson out of Kansas State. Wow. It wasn't good. It was a battle of field goals and a safety on the final play. Hmm. But it did secure the Dolphins' playoff spot. I assume they'll have Tua back for the playoffs next week, but if not, uh, (laughs) this Dolphins team did not very much deserve it. Uh, your your ain'ts. Well, they continued to be the ain'ts all the way. This game just like this game just sucked. Like the game just the game sucked. But then them losing sucked. Holy but... shit, Arnold threw for 43 yards and y'all lost to that? What was crazy is Dalton started so good. He was literally perfect through the first quarter. And then he just, I guess he remembered he was Andy Dalton. And here yes, we are. Yeah, well, I'm looking at the like drives in this game. Holy shit, what a yeah. bad game. Yeah. It was not good. Wow, well, maybe you'll get something next year. Who the f- that was? I'm looking at our roster. Who the fuck is Jake Ludden? <laughs> That's apparently one of our quarterbacks. Sure. So I don't know. I've never I, heard of I him. Don't, I think that might be the punter. No, Jake Ludden, quarterback. Uh, really? Yeah. Let me look at this. Mm. Jake Ludden out of Oregon State. Yep. Picked two years ago. Yep. Yep. Your guess Just, was as good as mine. Never heard of him. That that had that's gotta be like a waiver wire thing or something. I've never heard. Of it. He's a big old boy yeah. too, six six two twenty four. Damn. Uh, the right. Steelers put up a pretty decent game against the Browns. I tell you what, Mike Tomlin done did it, didn't he? He snuck he him did. in. Another winning season. <laughs> <laughs> if, okay. Uh, the Dolphins didn't get all that shitty win. These guys would be in the playoffs too. Hmm. Which I mean, hey. Maybe Kenny Pickett is a, the guy in his second year. I guess we'll find out. Could be. Could be. Tomlin is certainly a good enough coach that I could see it happen. Yeah, because, I mean, this team was garbage. Uh, this team was so bad. Speaking of which, they uh, they traded Chase Claypool, wide receiver, to the Bears for uh, their second-round pick, which, the, since the Bears have the first overall pick, that means they also have the first pick in the second round, which they gave to the Steelers. And then because... Uh, the Dolphins lost their first rounder because the whole tampering thing thing that happened. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember that. Uh, Vaguely. That means the Steelers essentially got the 32nd pick in the draft for trading away a shitty wide receiver, so that's a pretty solid fleece. Yeah. Uh, Broncos, you know, they won a game. They put up 31 points. Russell Wilson put up nearly 300 yards and three touchdowns. How about that? Yeah, I mean, that's what I was saying earlier. Like Against a good team, too. Yeah, and had only one interception, too. That's crazy. Hey, next year, Broncos country, let's ride. Yeah. But, you know, I did say it two weeks ago. Next next year is going to be Br- Russ's year. He's going to be back. In I mean, especially if they bring Peyton in. I mean, damn. I predicted it. We can come back to this episode. Hell, we can come back to my comment I posted on the VOD from two weeks ago. Yeah. We will, and we'll either see if I was, you know, a genius or if I, Russell Wilson still fucking sucks. You know? <laughs> well, that's a coin flip. Yep. Now, speaking of embarrassing for one team, the Eagles had to play their starters against the Giants' backup. Mm. That's a classic. Uh, mm. And they almost lost. Yeah, they did. It was a close one. It was a tight one. Hurts, first game back from the injury, did not look good. No. 20 of 35, only 229 yards and an in, no touchdown. But you gotta assume he gotta assume he's pretty shook up at this point, so maybe, but it's not the best time to be shook up considering the playoffs are starting. Yeah. And he only had thirteen yards on the ground, which is very uncharacteristic for Hertz. They did win though. Uh if the Giants succeeded uh, Giants had to succeed at onside to get a shot and they didn't. So, uh, nothing changed out of this game, basically. Niners dog walked uh, the Cardinals. Shocker! Nothing really is to say about that one. Yeah, that team is going to do very well in the playoffs, or they might get fucked on the moves. Who knows? Uh, I don't know. I I believe in Brock Purdy. Me too. I I like the Brock Purdy story to see him go. Like, Same. I, I want to at least see him go deep in the playoffs, just because yeah. it creates good stories. Sure. Uh, the Seahawks beat the Rams in overtime. Uh, this this was to keep the Seahawks in playoff contention. Mm-hmm. 
I wanted the Rams to win just so the Lions had a shot still, but mm-hmm. uh, the it was this game was bad. It was sloppy football by both sides. Mm-hmm. But you like to see it because, of course, at the beginning of the season, you know, everyone had essentially ridden off the Seahawks. Oh, they lost Russell Wilson, franchise quarterback. Oh, they're, you know, fucking hood, oh, Geno Smith. <laughs> yeah, what jokes on, well, all of us, yeah. I guess. Hey, yeah, man, good for them. Yep. Made it to the playoffs to play the Niners next week. Good luck. Oh, boy. Well, hey, you got there. That's, that's half the battle. Yep. Uh, Cowboys, like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> oh man, I watch, I watched this game, and I was like, when are y'all gonna start scoring? Dak was fourteen of thirty-seven for a oh my god, yeah, that's gotta be one of his worst games ever. It was his worst game. Oh ever. okay, oh okay. <laughs> Which the times you don't want to look fucking terrible yeah. is when you have a playoff game next week. Yeah. Dak well, I guess go ahead and get this shit out of the way. Get out of your system. You know, maybe the, the players who win, like they tend to say that's not how it works. It's, that tends to lead to you losing. Oh, OK. Well, there you go. Fuck. OK. Since, you know, momentum's kind of a big deal. Yeah, that is true. And then Sunday night. What a game. Lions Packers, man. We've we've been we've been eyeing this one for months. We really have. It's. I mean, we were saying it. This one could, re- once the Packers started getting on that little win streak again, we were like, hey, this game might decide the playoffs. Spot. Yeah. Which, since the Seahawks won, the Lions were already eliminated. Right. And uh, their head coach, Dan Campbell, came into the game saying, hey, we're out. Yeah. They're going to be fucking out. Literally just a spite win. And you love to see it. You really they did. Fucking, they came in. They got the dub. Rodgers threw a late game pick. Hmm. And that was the last time they ever and, saw the yeah, ball. Yeah, that last that last drive, they just they couldn't do anything. The Lions just moved it with a the force Lions just of knew will. It, that this was the game they yeah. won. Yeah. And you know what? You love to see it. Yeah. The Detroit Lions had a winning season. <laughs> it's been a while for them. That's been a hot minute. Yeah. Jared Goff is they, not bad. He's a lot better than people were saying he would yeah. be. But you know what? That's not bad. Uh, yeah. They swept the Packers. That's basically a Super Bowl for them. It really is, yeah. Uh, I mean, hell, they were 5-6 and six in their division games. That's pretty good. That's not bad. And uh, yeah, our boy Jamal Williams from the thumbnail. Of his yeah. <laughs> was in this game. Yeah, Love he to was. See it. And then obviously the uh, question of Rodgers' future is in the air. And he said... Jamal, uh, Jamison Williams, the wide receiver for the Lions, came up, to, went up to Rogers and asked if he could get his game jersey since you know game jersey swap is the thing. Mm. And Rogers' response was, "I'm gonna hold on to this one," which hey, this could be his last ever Packers game jersey. It could. I was reading though; he came out later and said, "I've still got some left." So he's definitely leaving the door open, but it sounds right. like there's a decision to be made. Yeah, and I mean, we'll see. Yeah. Old old quarterbacks are on the way out. Yeah. If, uh, hey, J- Jordan Love, you might want to, you know, be looking for a better place to live in Green Bay, maybe. Uh, yeah. Ugh, that sounds dirty to say. It sure does. Yeah. So now, next week, super wild card we- weekend. Mm. Plus Monday. I don't I don't love that there's a Monday and wild card weekend. I kind of do. I like Monday Night Football. I do too, but I feel like Super wild card weekend, like three games Saturday, three games Sunday. Is, is That's true. Fair, 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 fair. But anyway, Saturday, January 14th, uh, 4.30 p.m., Sevier County, Standard Time. It's a little in-joke for y'all. Sure. Uh, Seahawks, Niners at Niners Stadium. The Niners are a 10-point favorite right now. Oof. Uh, I do fully expect the Niners to win that game. I do think the Niners will go on to the Super Bowl right now. That's just how good that team is. So we'll see. Then Saturday night, Chargers, Jaguars uh, in Jacksonville. How about that? A Jacksonville home game in the playoffs. That's, man, that, that dude, season. fucking, that is going to be electric. It is. And speaking of last year in the Jaguars' final home game, their fans all showed up in clown outfits. Uh, today they showed up in full or 
yesterday, rather. They showed up in full support, not as clowns, cheering for the team. What, what a, a turnaround. Di- what a difference a year can make. It. Sure thing. Uh, Chargers are a one-point favorite in that game. That Oof. that game might be really good. Yeah. Justin Herbert versus Trevor Lawrence. These these are some, man, these are some juicy wildcard matchups. I haven't seen a slate this they good are. in years. And moving on to Sunday, our first game will be Dolphins-Bills. Bills are currently an 11-point favorite, uh, but I imagine that's because we don't know Tua's status right now. Uh, I still do have the Bills favorited on this one just because the Dolphins have been kind of rough lately. They've been on like a massive losing streak, I think. I guess they won today, but the five previous they lost, so oof. And then midday, my boys, the New York football giants, going back to Minneapolis, revenge game against the uh, Vikings. God damn it, we're winning this time. I know the Vikings are three-point favorites, but... Don't care. This this is a different game. The only reason we lost was because of shitty turnovers. Those aren't going to happen this time. We're we're pulling off the dub. Mm-hmm. I believe. And then spicy uh, Sunday night wild card game. Ravens Bengals divisional matchup in Bengals Stadium. Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson. I assume Lamar Jackson will be back. He's been out for five weeks now. I, I, I think I think I heard them talking earlier. Yeah, I think he might be back. Which uh, I also heard some rumors that supposedly uh, Ravens uh, organization is unhappy with Lamar and called him lazy, which that's a big one. That's but, bold. What yeah, was the I reasoning mean, I mean, for it, that? I think just the fact that he didn't come back earlier, which I mean, it's, uh, it's an injury rehab. Like, yeah, people take bullshit. what they take. So that's you know. bullshit. But it, it's also a contract like they still haven't figured out his contract. So. Yeah, I mean, we all saw how much the Ravens fell apart without Lamar Jackson. We yeah. know how much of an impact that man makes. So. Yeah, they're just they're trying to get any leverage they can over him, and it's still not a lot. <laughs> but hey, if they fall out, there's a lot of teams that would pay a lot of money for Lamar to come to town. I can think of one in particular that I wouldn't mind him going to. Lamar and the Saints would be gross, dude. It would be, yeah, <laughs> kind of. And then Monday night, Cowboys Buccaneers rematch of the first game of both their regular season. That one ended 19 to 3 in the Bucks' favor. Holy shit, I forgot the fucking Cowboys put up 3 points to start the season. <laughs> was that Dak didn't get injured in that game. Was that the game he got injured in? Uh no, he just looked like shit. Oh, okay, he just looked like he was injured. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think he got injured yeah, he got injured in the Giants game. I want to oh, say. no, okay. he got in, he got injured in the Bengals game. Oh, okay, so okay. It was pretty early in the he, season, though. Maybe he did get injured in the Bucks game, like midway. I don't know. Coop, I don't Cooper know. Rush played in the Bengals game. Who cares? The fuck the Cowboys. Uh, I, I really don't know how this game will go because the Cowboys looked like dog shit this week. Yeah, um, the Bucks have had all sorts of issues, but playoff Tom Brady is playoff Tom Brady, and he always makes magic happen. Yeah, line three points in Dallas's favor, I feel like, is underestimating a lot of intangible factors to this game, so. Yeah. Oh, that's, man. That's, uh, first round of the playoffs, Chiefs and Eagles have a bye. Chiefs kind of got handed a Mickey Mouse bye, but it is what it is. Sure, sure, sure. I've seen some commercials about the uh, the Pro Bowl coming up. That's uh, I'm actually kind of interested in that, the Pro Bowl games thing. Yeah, they've changed it up this year, so instead of, like, so the usual Pro Bowl has like the good parts, which are where they have like the skills competitions, where like yeah, you know, quarterback throwing at targets, yeah, like best trick catch kind of deal. Oh yeah, stuff like that. That's good content. And then they have the actual Pro Bowl game, which in the past years was just like an actual game, but no one wanted to play really, so right. because no one wanted to get hurt, so it was all kind of like Mickey Mouse. Uh, but this year, I believe it's going to be like seven on seven, like maybe flag football. It or is. Some it shit. is. It is flag football. Coached by uh, Eli and Peyton Manning. So. Yeah. Hey, I believe they. The Pro Bowl can be good if yeah. they make it good. Yeah, I mean, if you just let them have fun with it, because that's all they want to do to begin with is just have fun with it. Yep. So. Yeah, looking, so looking forward, forward to that. that. That's uh, the week between the championship games and the Super Bowl. So we'll mm-hmm. see about that. Yeah, it's on twenty fifth. Uh, well, fifth, I think. Yeah, fifth of February. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 
yeah uh that was nfl we do uh speaking of the season winding up we do have something to talk about because college is over well as of this time tomorrow night nfl soon to be over but week after we got xfl, XFL. baby yeah uh, oh. XFL announced their schedule this week, actually, uh, on the 5th, which was a, a day. Um, oh, I missed that, apparently. Yeah. Season kicks off Saturday, February 18th, 2023, 3 p.m. Eastern on ABC with the Vegas Vipers facing the Arlington Renegades at Choctaw Stadium. I have no idea where Choctaw Stadium is, to be quite honest. Um, uh, I imagine Arlington, Texas. Yeah, that would make sense. I just don't know like where in Arlington, Texas it is. Oh, it's a baseball field. Ooh. It's a baseball field. Oh, it's like it's in the same complex as AT&T Stadium. So, hmm. That's awkward. But, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see. The, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, Saturday. Yeah, so it'll be a Saturday game. That's what I love about the XFL. Like, the whole season is Saturday and Sundays. Love to see it. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's no competing college you got to deal with. So. Sure. Uh, and I do, th- I can't remember if it was XFL or USFL was trying to like get some other alternate days. It might be USFL now that I think about it. But um, uh, yeah, so opening weekend matchups include uh, the Guardians and the Roughnecks at TD ECU Stadium. Uh, TD ECU Stadium is, um, oh, whose stadium is that? Uh, oh, it's Houston's, I guess. I don't know why I thought it was someone else's. Yeah, it's Houston Stadium, Houston uh, University, Houston. Uh, 19th is the Battle Hawks at the San, San Antonio Brahmas, which I don't like that team name. I, I've said that. The same. Stupid, but the Rock, whatever. At the Alamo Dome, shout out. Um, and then uh, Seattle Sea Dragons versus the DC Defenders at Audi Field. I don't know where that... I mean, it's in DC. I know that, but... It's a uh, soccer stadium. So, oh, it's it's the ML. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I do I know where that is? Uh, yes, I know where that is because I think yeah. You know what? I know where that is because of Fallout uh, Three. Uh, that's like the fucking Rivet City's like right there. So yeah, hey, and who said uh, video games were bad for you? Um. Oh, they're doing divisions, XFL North and XFL South. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, all 43 XFL games, 40 regular season games, two playoffs, one championship will be featured on a combination of ABC, seven games, ESPN, ESPN2, 22 games, and FX. That's strange for 15 games. That is strange. Uh, all, all, all 43 will be uh, streamed on ESPN Plus and simulcast in 142 countries around the world. Who fucking cares? Um, so that's, that's pretty big to, to be carried like that on, uh, yeah. eight, eight, uh, sorry, seven games on ABC. That's huge. Um, and then FX, I don't like, that's weird, but it is, but like they're partnered with Disney as well. Well, yeah. ESPN is, uh, owns Disney. So that makes sense. They do. Uh, yeah, they do. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's no, not it like, is it's not the other way around. What did I say? You said ESPN owns Disney. You're right. It's the other way around. Thank you. I'm, okay. uh, look, English isn't my first language, so. Yeah, it's, I was um, a bit confused about that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's whatever. Uh, okay, it is XFL, so week two, there will be, yeah, Thursday night game. Uh, and is that going to be the only th- Thursday night game? Oh, no, there's one in week five. Also, the Seattle Sea Dragons. That's strange. Um, there's going to be a Friday game. Also, Seattle. Why does Seattle get all the weird night games? That's weird. Uh, week Maybe seven. to keep them at a week apart. Maybe. Uh, it looks like that's... Yeah, it looks like there's only going to be three... Two Thursdays and a Friday. Uh, that's kind of fun. That's that's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. What uh, what, what time is it? 7 p- Yeah, 7 p.m. Well, it's uh, 7 Eastern on a Friday. Wolf. Huh. Oh, that's an FX game. Well, that maybe that explains why it's on a shitty night. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All the odd night games on FX. So that, okay. Well, that explains some things right there. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, football's football. So I'm fucking sure. I'm not going to complain. Uh, the the XFL was good last time. It was great last time. I heard USFL. I've been seeing things for that. USFL is coming back, though, I think in April. Um, Okay. 
that keeps the football season going even further. They don't have a full schedule out yet, so I can't tell you exactly. Uh, but yeah, they. I think we did talk about it. Like their championship game is going to be on the second of July, so it's now there will be just one month, just one month without some form of football, because of course the Hall of Fame game is early August, so uh that <laughs> that's great especially for this show uh specifically yeah. for the show actually so not gonna run into content we will be talking about all that so i just noticed tampa yeah, bay I mean, bandits are on hiatus in 2023 for the usfl that's weird hmm that is weird yeah the shows will be getting a bit shorter as less content well as you can see i mean we're just barely gonna hit an hour tonight and uh of course we we, we didn't hit on the college much uh Next week, of course, we'll be going over the uh, Natty in depth. We'll be again. We will be live tomorrow night here on Twitch for live commentary. If you want to hear me cuss and scream a lot, probably uh, definitely tune in because we, <laughs> if you were here for our New Year's stream, I did that when uh, Ohio wow. State lost. Yeah, that was. I went back and watched that clap and a clip, and I was like, "Oh wow, I wasn't aware I could make sounds like that." So. All I right, be, uh, I'll I'll be hitting up the open mic for that one as well. Oh yeah, I mean yeah, you you got it. You just got to be live. You got to be raw for that one. So, looking forward to it. I was gonna have hamburgers tomorrow night for it, but uh, I made up a bunch of deer and gravy tonight, and I got plenty of leftovers. So, gonna have that instead. Uh yeah, man, it is a little depressing though. I mean, I know there will be, I know there will be football, but you know, I'm a college guy. So college guy coming tapering off is is sad, uh, and uh, you just can't beat NFL. You know, I XFL's yeah. good, but it ain't it ain't it ain't NFL. But football is football. So, all right. Sure well, is. I don't got nothing else unless you do. Sure don't. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow night here for the Natty. Or to, well, not not tomorrow night. Tonight it's uh, it's Monday now. So. In the sure good, is. in the good parts of America, at least. So, all right. Well, say goodbye. Goodbye.